So I don't know, for some reason, I have just been a target in friendships because you're not the type of person to mess with me and go away with it caught free because with experience you get smarter right hey guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel it's your babe nenge yeah. eze evil babe for life i have a son running around and there's nothing i can do about that plus my mic is not working so please you guys should please forgive me okay Anyways, I'm about to beat this beautiful face of mine. I'm literally just tired at this point because I don't know what to do. I never planned on this video looking the way it's looking. First off, the quality is not given. And secondly, my chair is really low. But yeah, let me do something about that. So yeah, I've done something about that. Um, so I told you, God, I'm just adjusting because your girl is not ready for this video. I won't be lying to you. I am not physically ready to do this video. But yeah, I already told myself I was going to do this video, so I have to do it today. So yeah, get ready with me while, or get ready with me to go take some pictures for my birthday. Why I give you guys a gist that I've never told anybody about. Okay, you guys, fun fact, this video wasn't planned or anything okay i'm just filming this video from anything that comes to my head because i know this just happened to me so it's more like me telling you guys hey see what i went through while growing up there's a fly in this house so yeah please don't mind my hair okay i have some edges break out so yeah or whatever anyways so let's do my makeup while i talk I have my mirror here because I can't be in the room to film this video. So yeah, I have done a little bit of my under eyes. I've injured myself, you guys. My hand hurts. Okay, so I don't know what's happening here, but yeah. Anyway, so as a child, I have always been a type of person that loves attention, okay? I love attention so much. like. I literally live for attention and I'm still that type of person to date, okay? And it's not changing anytime soon, okay? So I've always been a person that like attention. I always, I've said so many things about attention at this point. I'm always seeking for, when I say seeking, I don't seek for it because, I mean, look at me. I don't need to seek for it, it just comes to me if that makes sense anyway so um so growing up i was in a school i'm sure you guys must have known the title of this video already by now so i was in a school that puts too much oh my gosh it's too bad <laughs> anyways <laughs> so some people do not understand that about me they use that to their own advantage if i'll say yeah it's to their own advantage i look like a scarecrow at this point but yeah i'm going to have to blend that in properly i don't know i don't know how it was for me but it was so difficult growing up with some type of people so like i was saying i was in this particular school and now that school is a private school so I've always had bigger body than every other person, okay? My body, my my bum, my bum bum was always big. So that brought me some type of attention that I did not even need or want at that age. When I mean I like attention, I used to like to paint my nails to school and uh, even though, I mean, Nigerian schools, it wasn't allowed, but I still disobeyed anyways. So, um, I'll do things like paint my nails to school, paint my toenails on Fridays. I take off my socks and my shoes, and then my toenails that I painted red polish will just be on the surface, you know? I like to show off a lot. So, I was friends with this group of people. Yeah, I'll call them that. It's funny because one of them actually keeps in touch with my videos she's always watching my videos and placing comments 
so this is not to make anybody feel sad it's just my childhood experience so i feel like i never really got like the closure that i needed with this particular girls anyways let me talk about what i'm saying so you guys don't get confused one of the girls in this particular group was very close to me or rather i was close to her we're close to ourselves i don't know so my makeup is a basic makeup that's why i will not be telling you guys what i am using um i'm not the type of person to do too much with my makeup because i already know how to do makeup a lot you can give me your products even though it's not quality product i'm gonna make it work okay i always do so basically i make sure i put in good products so far it's not i say so far as long as it's not expired then you're good or oh, i'm good anyways this particular girl we were close at the time but i always felt some type of envy yeah i felt some type of envy with this girl i don't know why i felt like that but i always felt it number one is she would go to those group of friends and then they would gossip about me and then they'll come she'll come back to be like to act or to form like she is my friend until one particular day like that i think we were hanging out together i think it was break time mind you i was in secondary school when all this happened i think around just two or so so this particular girl told me that she wanted to tell me something very very private and that I should keep it between myself. I should not tell anybody. I asked her, Madam, what happened? What do you want to tell me? And then this girl confessed to being a witch. A witch. Can you see my face? I know. I'm not a witch, but yeah, that's what she confessed to being. Yeah, so I was not i didn't buy it at the moment and she was like oh i'm serious that they had to do like a deliverance if you see me looking here please have to look at my mirror okay i'm not that good so that her family or her parents at that time had to do like a proper deliverance for her like pastors and all of that involved and they did like a deliverance um a deliverance um, service for her and then she confessed to what to being part of a marine kingdom or whatsoever so at that time I was a kid so I didn't take that information so seriously until much later then this particular girl started to act weird to me I kept the information to myself although not entirely to myself I told my sisters what was going on so yeah when i told my sister about this of course they were shocked but trust my sisters to always make a joke out of matters like this so we would joke about it laugh about it and then she'll be like oh what about that your friend that is a witch <laughs> so basically she would laugh joke about the whole situation at the time because it was a joke until later on this particular girl and this group of friends they would gang up and plan about me up until the fact that there was an inter like they interrogated me to see whether i was wearing bomb bomb pad because they didn't believe or they didn't feel at that age i was supposed to have the kind of body that i had at that age because actually the thing actually scared me personally because i felt i was too big for my age and when i'm going to school i would tie rope like swimming rope um, i said swimming is the rope that i used to hang clothes i would tie it underneath my school skirt while i wear my school skirt just so that i don't have to deal with the fact that my body was bigger than my age and it didn't even do anything it only just ended up making me look weird but at the time i did not care all i needed to do was to suppress the way my body was looking at the time so yeah this particular set of girls they ganged up to investigate if i was wearing a bonbon pad see i'm not even doing my neck today okay i don't understand 
I don't I just want to do and get up from here so they investigated the issue and then they found out that they were wrong because one of them escorted me to the toilet and I noticed that she was looking at me in a weird way I'm like I want to use the toilet and she said okay we can go together and it was just weird for me but I shall know that that's when they did that whole thing just to find out if I was wearing something underneath my school skirt so you can imagine what I had to go through at that age anyways something else happened so because I was always looking bigger than my pairs so the boys in the school you know how we have like crush in school like oh I'm crushing on this person I'm crushing on that person there's this person called was it Isaiah I don't know I've forgotten his name but he just seemed to be everybody's crush at the time and now this boy was a yellow boy it's very funny because Nowadays, if you ask girls, what are your speck or what is your speck in a man? They'll tell you, oh, I like my man dark and handsome and tall. But I know they are always more keen on dark guys. And it's so funny because growing up, fair guys were the thing. I can't remember. I just hope my parents don't get to watch this video. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah. This particular person that everybody fancied at the time was talking to a lot of girls at the time like hi hello normal talk you know school talk but they didn't see it at that time like that so i think he was talking to me after school one day and one of these girls they saw it and that's when the hits started like the proper hits, the obvious hits. This time around, they were not hiding that they hated me. It was obvious that they hated me. I don't know what I did. So, this particular girls, they made it in their agenda to plan again against me. And this time around, they succeeded. Okay, I mean, they were always succeeding because I did not know at the time. So, they were always succeeding with any plan that they came up with. So, they planned to steal my diary so growing up let me now let me now tell you guys something personal i used to watch a lot of cartoons growing up um i believed in diary i watched barbie you know barbie right barbie the cartoon so i watched that a lot growing up and i believed in all those type of cartoons how you can have diaries pull down your secrets in detail of everything going on in your life you can actually put that on a book and expect for no one to read it but your babe was wrong I was wrong anyways this particular girls they ganged up to steal my diary oh did I say diary diary like diary should i spell it out i think i'll put it on the screen so that you guys will know what i'm talking about i will bring my diary to school my diary or whatever to school every single day and i will write to my diary during the break time and they were jealous as usual i'm very sure that the one that i was very close to was the one that suggested that they steal my diary so because of how close she was to me at the time so i'm sure she's the one that came up with the plan this particular girl who confessed to being a witch yeah that one i will not be saying names here but whenever one of them sees this video they'll know what i'm talking about so it was short break and your babe had to go for a short break and i trusted this girl to go with me in fact one of them came to me and was acting like she was having a conversation with me just so she can distract me and i can go for a break and of course, a naive girl that did not know what was happening. I just, okay, these girls, they just probably just want to be friends. So I went on break or I went to break at the time with her leaving my diary in my bag. If I'm not calling it well, please just know that my tongue, diary, leaving my diary in my school bag while I went for a short break with this particular girl. Yeah, I know I look crazy, but I need to just say this part before I go on and complete my brows off camera because I cannot fumble with my brows, okay? My brows is the definition of the entire makeup, so I cannot fumble. So while the break was over, or actually while I was on break, 
the one that was said to be distracting me was out there gisting with me you know telling me things that you know gist basically at that time i meet you i was giving my gist back okay because i was a nice girl at that time so all of a sudden the break actually finished at the time we went back into the classrooms and we moved on with our lives i did not notice that my diary was gone until when school was over yeah that particular day that same day so yeah when i realized that my diary was gone you needed to see the kind of madness that automatically kicked in because at that time my diary was everything to me okay i really liked it so much it was like a best friend to me i even gave it a name like i would call my diary this particular name that was very very special to me at the time so seeing that my diary was no longer there with me at that time i, I think i wanted to write something that happened i wanted to write that oh i spoke to this girl that we don't actually talk actually that's the girl that was supposed to distract me i actually wanted to write about that and i saw that my diary was gone you know that these girls they didn't expect for me to notice that same day in fact that's how much i liked my diary i wrote to it every time i get i have just screwed my eyebrows so they were not expecting me to actually check back with my diary that same day and i did okay i did and yeah i realized it was gone i started crying i started asking the whole class if they saw the pink book that i would usually write to but everyone was like no i didn't see i didn't see i didn't see I asked those girls, they were acting strange, but it did not go to me or it wasn't in my mind that they would do that type of thing because I'm like, why? Like, why would anyone want to steal a book? Like, why? They did not even believe in those things. I mean, I was schooling in a school that did not care about those things. I don't even know whether they were even watching cartoons at that time or even though they were, who cares? You should be able to respect people's privacy okay so i was feeling so sad i cried my entire eyes away i was so sad i was like how did i lose it i even thought that i lost my diary but i'm like no i kept it before going for break and then i never saw it till now so what happened and that's how they kept quiet they didn't say anything until I, I went home and funny enough that day was a friday and inside the weekend or oh, we went home mother and i realized that my diary was not there with me because normally i would write during the weekend i started feeling sad i started feeling so sad i was crying I even told my mom, my mom said, like, it's a book now, you can buy another one. I'm like, everything about my life is in that book. I said, telling my sisters, and they were like, I, like, I think my junior sister was one that suggested to me that, are you sure somebody did not take it? And then I started thinking, I was like, wait, though, wait a minute. Look at the way the whole thing happened. All of a sudden, this one came to carry me, and the other stayed in the class when they're supposed to be going for break. I was like, something is not checking. It's not, it's not entering. I think these girls, they stole my diary. And when I asked them, the way they were acting all weird, I just knew that one of them took my diary or they all ganged up. I just suspected and I decided to look into it. On Monday, when we came back to school, I started asking about my diary. Then I went to those girls because you know me, you can't do me something and get away with it, okay? If you do me something, I'm going to do you back, okay? So I went to this particular one of them because she's like their leader. That's the one that, remember, the one that confessed to me that she was... Yeah, so I went to her and I told her that, did you take my diary? And she said no. 
I'm like, if you took my diary, I would know. And I will find out. And the moment I find out, sorry, I'm looking at myself. The moment I find out that you were the one that planned to take my diary, or you took my diary rather, I'm going to tell the whole class that you used to be a witch. Yes, I told her like that. I said, I'm going to confess to the, I'm going to, rather, I'm going to tell the whole class that you confessed to being a witch and that would all look good on you. And then she was cold because she didn't expect that to happen. You know, at that time now, you are young, you're not going to be like, I'm going to deny now. Here, go and tell now. I'm going to deny. At that time, you are so naive. Anything that comes out from someone's mouth about you is just totally, automatically true. So my girl, my girl Shuko, she was like, eh? She didn't see this one coming. So I have gone off camera to do my eye makeup because I couldn't do it with you guys. If not, I will make so much mistakes even though I feel like I can still see the mistakes that I made. Anyways, so as I was saying, this particular girl became so scared. Like she didn't see it coming because you're not the type of person to mess with me and go away with it caught free. So she was like, um, are you serious? I said, yes, I'm serious. Before you know, I said, let me go out and come back. And I thought that when I come back, if my diary is not where it's supposed to be, watch what I'm gonna do. And then I went. I went to, I, th I think, I don't know, I think it was break. I went out and I came back. And guess what, you guys? Guess what I saw on my chair, on my desk? Guess. Yes, you guessed right. It was my diary. They put it on my table before I got back. I saw it, I came back and I saw it and I smiled. I said, and I looked at her, you'd have not put it back. That's what I told her. She told me, I'll say, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. I looked at her, I told her, no, you should have not put it back. Then I carried it and put it back in my bag. And that day went on and then I went home. But what am I trying to say? I have been bullied by this type of girls. It doesn't have to be, Papa, please. It doesn't have to be like physical bullying, okay? I was mentally bullied by these particular girls. And I did not like that for myself. So what am I trying to say? The way I am now, I am more on the side of, um, what will I, how will I put it? Of giving my children the self-confidence that they need just so to avoid bullying. I mean, if I was able to speak up, the way I spoke up, and they put back my diary. If I was able to do that from the onset, they wouldn't have had the privilege to even do all the things that they were doing, trying to investigate if I'm wearing pad, a bum bum pad or whatever. There's a way you carry yourself eh? and bully will not even come close to you. So I don't know, for some reason, I have just been a target in friendships. Not all of them per se. I have been in good relationships. I have been in good friendships so but i don't know i don't know this particular girls i won't lie they scarred me they scarred my childhood because a lot of things went down while being friends with them i wasn't i wasn't friends with them they just always picked on me but like say i was an easy target yes i was at the time before i started to speak up for myself so what am i trying to say teach your children to be confident in themselves if your daughter is chubby, tell her, oh my gosh, your queen, chubby queen, yeah. Or, I don't know, whatever insecurities that they may be having as time goes on, because they're very little now, right? My kids, they would not know. But I would not say that they would not go through bullying. But how do you handle it is what I need to know, or it's what I need to pass across to the kids. And also what I'm telling you to pass across to your kids. I will not sit back and be bullied. I will speak up when I need to or when I feel it is okay to. So yeah. Guys, the entire point of this video is building your self-confidence as a human being and also that of your kids. Sometimes you have to be confident for your kids to be confident. Do you guys know that? 
you have to be confident for your kids to be confident because the first teacher that they watch these children is us moms yes sorry i'm adjusting my mirror the first teacher that these kids get to watch is us their mother so you have to always build your confidence at all times because these kids you'll be you'll be shocked you'll be shocked at what is happening within them so in order to be on the safe side you have to be a confident person for your child to be confident that's all i have to say i feel bad for those girls right now because i don't know like you shouldn't have to bully people in order to i don't know should i say get to them you can get to people in different ways because left for me i don't think they did that because they just wanted to be bullies because maybe personally i feel like they wanted to be friends with me they didn't want it to look like they were the one fussing or trying to be you know my friend they wanted it to look like they didn't want the friendship but meanwhile they wanted the friendship but yeah what can i say in life experience teaches you makes you better makes you know how to react to things makes you more smarter because with experience you get smarter right that's say where they say experience is the best teacher they do not lie okay it's the truth so if i did not experience this part what would i be able to tell my daughter like how would i be able to tell her sometimes when you have examples you can teach better you know it's just like teaching a math class you cannot just impact the knowledge into their head like hey take take this is um six plus six is six no you have to give examples in order for the people that you're teaching to understand so yeah i was an example i lived in an example when i was growing up so i can be able to give out a better judgment or a better teaching or general overview of what happened to me to my daughter so yeah i think i'm done with this video at this point i have said all that needed to be said like i said you guys please do not give into my makeup my makeup is very very basic i'm sorry that i did not give you guys a full tutorial but this wasn't a tutorial video the next time that you guys will be seeing me talk on this camera will be on my q a video just so that you guys can get to know me better i realized that i've not done a q a video on this channel ever and i've had this channel for some time now so i'm sorry about that i will be doing a q a video next so yeah i am done with my makeup as you guys can see um i would have to be putting my lip stain oh that's a stain <laughs> my lip gloss off camera because um i just took off my lip balm and i need it to dry off i need my lips to dry to be able to put on the lip um stick that i want to put i'm going in with a lipstick red lipstick that is my look so yeah if you guys want to see my full fit of how i am going to dress today to go and take my birthday pictures please watch the next vlog or is it the next vlog i don't know if it's the next vlog but please watch my birthday vlog because that would be inside my birthday vlog my full fit my makeup as you can already see the hair that i will be going with and everything basically so yeah that's about it thank you so much for sticking with me while i did this makeup as you can see i think i look good i haven't put my setting spread i just remembered my makeup is just all over the place don't worry very soon or sometime later i will be doing a proper makeup tutorial if you guys will be interested in that okay because i know that makeup videos do not do well on youtube because i mean everyone knows how to apply makeup who doesn't so i will be doing a full video if you guys recommend for that on products that i'm using i don't really do too much i just don't use expired products because i like my skin a lot to not try on expired products so yeah that's about it so i'm gonna put in my setting spread moments so yeah 
that's about it I'm going to see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching this one please i hope you watch to the end okay i hope you guys sat down and watched this video to the end do not forget to like comment and also subscribe yeah on this channel before leaving and yeah i'll see you on my next video so let me do a quiz let me do a short will i say a quiz no i won't say it's a quiz let me do a test if you really watch this video to the end please leave me a butterfly in the comment section and i'll be at the section the comment section to check who and who are my real ogs who and who are not skipping my videos okay so yeah leave me a butterfly on the comment section so that i can find out who is really watching my videos to the end and it will really make me happy i'll be on the comment section waiting for your butterflies so yeah that's about it. Bye, guys.